Hello, we're going cycling today. We're going to follow the route of the Scarborough to Whitby Railway, closed since 1965 and now known as the Cinder Track. The main purpose of today is just to see what remains of any railway infrastructure, if any. We start our journey at Scarborough Station. The line went through the 260 yard Fallsgrave Tunnel into Gallows Close, Goodyard. A house had to be demolished for the construction of this tunnel, which was built by cut and cover. The tunnel exit was in Gallows Close Goods Yard, which didn't close until 1985, and it's now the site of a supermarket and a children's play area. The 21 mile route was opened by the Scarborough and Whitby Railway Company in 1885 later taken over by the North Eastern Railway. This area was carriage sidings, used for storing the many summer excursions into Scarborough. passenger stations in total, the first of which was Scalby. It was just north of the Scalby Viaduct, but now sadly housing estate. Closed in 1953, nothing remains here, but we can still see the remains of a bridge which went under Station Road. We soon come to Cloughton Station, closed along with the line in 1965. The loading dock remains, the station house and goods shed now being converted to holiday lets.
start climbing here up to Haven Wax Station, closed in 1965. There are still platforms remaining here, the station house being a private residence. Continuing our climb, Staintondale is the next station, again closed in 1965. Ravenscar Station is next, at the summit of the line. It was built to serve a seaside resort which was never itself actually built. Station closed in 1965, but the platforms still remain. With a bit of a diversion here to avoid the 279 yard Ravenscar tunnel. The route starts dropping from here, past the site of Ravenscar Brickworks. There's a nice view of Robin Hood's Bay from here. We soon reached Farlinghall Station, closed in 1915, 
but reopened again in 1920. It finally closed along with the line in 1965. Both platforms remain here and the station house is now a private residence. Robin Hood's Bay Station closed in 1965. The buildings remain but are now mostly holiday accommodation. There's very little remains of the platforms, the area now being a car park. It's a 1 in 43 climb from here up to Horska. The line went under the road here until the bridge was removed in the 1990s and this crossing installed. Oscar station itself closed in 1965. It's now a cycle hire centre and has a coach for holiday accommodation.
steady run down to Whitby brings us to Larpool Viaduct, 305 yards long, having 13 brick arches. We're now at Prospect Hill Junction. This is where the line from Whitby Town joined, coming up from Boghall Junction. This is the site of Boghall Junction, where the train is about to pass, just beside the River Esk. A signal box sat across the track here. We can just see the concrete supports. Here is where the cinder track finishes. We're now in Whitby. A bridge carried the line across the road here. We can see a house has been built on the former trap bed. Whitby Westcliff Station is our final destination. It closed in 1961 but was used as a council depot for many many years until being converted into housing. Whitby Town Station is still on the network and sees regular heritage trains, both steam and diesel, from the North Yorkshire Moors Railway. Just time for a brew in Whitby before heading back. Once again, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. We'll see you soon.